Hey everyone, Boone here. So recently, I've been trying to up my expressions game in Adobe After Effects. I'm really tired of not understanding what the code's doing and just having to copy and paste and hope that things work. So I've been doing some research and trying to find the best resources online. Now I found five things in particular that are really good, so I wanna share those with you today. This list is gonna be ordered by price, starting with the least expensive. And you can find links for everything in the description. So first up is a free course called The World of Expressions from Parker Young of Animaplex. This training series includes four hours and 49 minutes of lessons that you can find on Animaplex's website. If you prefer watching on YouTube, there's a playlist as well. I'm gonna to link to that in the description. If you pay $10, you'll get the project files, access to the offline videos, and all the documentation. The curriculum is really great for beginners. It takes a look at basic expressions, then on to intermediate tools, and then finally on to advanced concepts. There's also an extensive section on JavaScript for After Effects. Parker does a good job of keeping the videos short and to the point. A good majority of the videos aren't even over 10 minutes in length until you get into the more advanced concepts. Even then, you don't have videos going past 20 minutes. Next up is a book called The Power of Expression. So you can get this in PDF ebook form, or you can get both the ebook and a hardcover for a little bit more money. Now, I got the hardcover because I spend so much time in front of a screen that it's nice to take the book and have something actually tactile, sit outside, or take it wherever I want to look at it. The book has a minimalist design with really great visuals. I absolutely love it. Now, this is the first thing I picked up when I started tinkering around with learning expressions, and the visuals in the first few chapters make understanding expressions incredibly easy. So while it's aimed at everyone, it's really great for beginners. a &E Scripts actually has a playlist of videos that work in conjunction with this book. And each of those videos has a downloadable project file, so be sure to check that out. I'll link to that in the description as well. If you're not following Euchre Media on YouTube already, you really should subscribe right now. They have a healthy number of really high quality expression related content on their channel. Now they also have this expressions course and it follows the same level of quality. Their co-founder, Sergei Profnowski, is a former senior motion graphics designer at Fox Sports, where he worked on a ton of different things like graphics for NFL, the Super Bowl, MLB World Series, college football, NASCAR Women's World Cup, and NASCAR Race Hub. Seriously, just go check out their YouTube channel and you'll see how good this course is. Their curriculum introduces users to expression tools and basics, including the language of expressions and the various data types. Then you're shown how to use expressions to create a module lower third. This covers everything from expression controls to exporting a Mogret template to Premiere Pro. The course includes over 12 hours of streaming video content. Users get lifetime access to these videos as well as all the free updates. It comes with downloadable project files, access to a private course forum, and links to additional resources. I'm personally about halfway through this course right now. I really like it, I highly recommend it. Next up is Expressions Trip from Motion Design School. The curriculum here is targeted at beginning and advanced motion designers, animators, and even programmers interested in graphics and animation. This course not only teaches you the basics of expressions, but it also focuses on how and why to implement them in a real world project. More specifically in this course, you'll learn how to create a fire generator, make a crab break dance, and even animate a Godzilla walk cycle. Do you really need to know how to do anything else? The course finishes with a section focusing on the differences between expressions and scripting. Here you will use ExtendScript to learn how to create a few scripts. Last but not least, Expression Session from School of Motion. This course will take you from beginner to pro over the course of 12 weeks. Be sure to check the schedule for the next opening on School of Motion's website. This course will not only teach you how to write expressions, but again, more importantly, it's going to teach you why and when you would want to use them. With beautifully designed lessons and exercises, Expression Session includes over 25 hours of video instruction. It's a detailed curriculum targeted for motion designers. Each lesson is project-based and has custom artwork. Every student is assigned a teaching assistant, which helps you with feedback, as well as debugging any code. The real beauty of School of Motion is the community aspect. The course gives you access to industry professionals and allows collaboration and constructive feedback with other students. The course is gonna help you not fear math. It's gonna show you how to plan big projects, how to automate multiple elements, how to work with CSV and JSON files, how to trigger animations with markers, and much, much more. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to learn more about any of these resources or do a little bit of a deeper dive into any of the particular curriculums, just follow those affiliate links in the video description. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell.